Hello everybody and welcome to Crypto Times TV. Here we make content worth your while. Did you know that millions of people still use Telegram today? No, we are not talking about messages you send by Telegraph. Telegram is a super powerful messaging service that enables sending texts and exchanging photos, videos, stickers, audio and files of any type. And in March 2018, the Telegram team stated that their apps had 200 million monthly active users. The company behind the software, Telegram Messenger LLP, is founded by the Russian entrepreneur Pavel Durov. However, the Russian government has made the service subject to scrutiny and has been trying to disrupt the app's functioning, although to little avail. And even though Telegram's security model has received no notable criticism by cryptography experts, the team puts in a lot of effort to release further updates to the existing client apps. These have grown so popular in the crypto community and beyond that we decided to make this top 5 Telegram features you probably had no idea about. So check them out! Number 5 editing your messages. Telegram is naturally often compared with other similar services such as WhatsApp, Kik and Viber. And one of many very useful features Telegram can boast in front of their counterparts is editing messages that have been sent. It's very easy to make mistakes, just as easy as it is to send something you didn't really mean to say. So instead of erasing everything, you can opt for correcting your message. To do this, simply press and hold the message you wish to change and select Edit from the options that appear. You can rewrite or change as much as you want. Unlike like Facebook, there will be no indication that you have in fact edited the message, unless of course the recipient has already read it. Number 4. Sending your digital stuff in bulk How many times have you wanted to send a video on WhatsApp only to be told it was too big to send? This is because the app has a maximum file size of 16 megabytes. Telegram, on the other hand, allows you to send files that are up to 1.5 gigabytes in size, so you shouldn't have any problems. This could, however, prove problematic as far as your data consumption is concerned. But there is a way to fix it. Go to Options, Automatic Media Download and adjust the settings to best suit your needs. Number 3. Tools that any spy would gladly have in their inventory While there is a way to send self-destructing messages via WhatsApp using an external app, it's actually already one of Telegram's best features. To do this, you must create a secret chat. Once inside this chat, you can choose the time you want the message to self-destruct once the recipient has read it. Number 2. Last seen as you want it WhatsApp does allow you to choose whether or not you want people to see when you were last online, however you can't be selective with the people who see it. With Telegram, you can easily choose who sees the last time you were connected. To do this, go to Options, Privacy and Security, Last Seen and adjust the Add Exceptions option accordingly. And the leader of today's video is the Telegram Passport feature. Now this is one of the newest features that can be very appealing for ICO participants. And actually a lot of other services out there need to know our real-life ID, however annoying it might seem to some of us. Anyway, when we must comply with strong Know Your Customer policies, this means a lot of work. Tons of stuff to scan and upload over and over again with every new service we choose to work with. Well, no more! Just last week, Telegram rolled out a brand new upgrade, Telegram Passport. It's a unified authorization method for services that require personal identification. All you have to do is upload your documents once and then instantly share your data with services that require real-world ID. As it is always with Telegram, your identity documents and personal data will be well protected. It is encrypted with a password that only you know. So Telegram has no access to the data you store in your Telegram passport. When you share this data, it goes directly to the recipient. Subsequently, all Telegram passport data was moved to a decentralized cloud. If you have the latest app version running on your device, you can try out this feature right now with a number of partnered services that will be expanding. The first platform to partner with Telegram on this was ePayments.com. However, keep in mind that this feature has been reported to be vulnerable to brute force attacks. Or at least so it says in an August 1st report by cryptographic software and services developer Virgil Security. With all those stunning functions Telegram offers, it really does seem odd that a lot of folk have never taken a look at it. And we wonder how many Telegram fans there are among the viewers of our channel. So tell us what you think of the app and its security. And if there is something you feel we should have included in this video, let us know in the comment section. We hope you liked this video. And if you want to stay up to date with our upcoming content, just hit that subscribe button and join us. See you soon! That's it for now. We hope our today's episode was worth your while. And if it did, come and see us again tomorrow. Take care.